Hello everyone! Welcome to our special episode on Mental Health Awareness Month brought to you by Psych Society and MAP here at Southdale International School and Colleges. Yes, Mental Health Month is celebrated every October and the theme for this month is universal uh, mental health is a universal right and this month we want to raise awareness about the importance of mental health and well-being as well as reducing the stigma surrounding mental health issues this includes various observances such as the world mental health day adhd awareness month and bullying prevention month the purpose of these observances is to refocus on self-care, increase understanding of the signs and symptoms of mental health illnesses, and encourage people to seek help if needed. And with us today is one of the most respected mental health advocates in Southville. And of course, she was also one of our professors. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Jing Klimakosa. Hi, Miss Jane. Hi, Miss Jane. Hello. Hi, Vince. Hi, Clarice. Yes, how are you? I am good. How are you? Excited for World Mental Health Month. <laughs> yes, yeah. we're also excited. And we're really happy that you accepted our invitation to be interviewed for this show today. So, Ms. Jing, let's get started. We want to know more about you, um, what you do, and how you became, um, you know, someone who's in the in the profession of psychology. Okay, so, um, uh, again, I'm Jing. Uh, I am uh, a director of a multinational company um, here in the Philippines, and I'm also a part-time faculty for the College of Psychology in Southville. Uh, I recently finished my graduate studies also here in Southville uh, with a degree in master master in arts and psychology. Um, and so my but my psychology uh, journey actually started uh, maybe three or four years ago um, as part of my work responsibilities. I uh, have certain people management and talent development responsibilities and uh, one of the people that I was working with actually expressed uh, suicidal um, ideation. And at the time, I didn't know what to do. So I was panicking inside. Um, but luckily, I was able to get the support that I need. And we were able to get the help that uh, this employee that I was working with uh, needed. But that highlighted to me that I was so unprepared uh, for for these types of uh, concerns, these types of issues, so um, I took it upon myself, you know, to educate myself and to learn so that I can be of help to others. Yeah, yeah. Um, what a wonderful story about you know really being proactive, I guess, and really having the heart to help people. Yeah, and, and I think this is how. And, you know why mental health is so important not only in our daily lives but just to have that open conversation on how people can help manage you know, these mental health illnesses now speaking of which miss jane mm. can you tell us what is mental health and why is it so important for people to understand mental health okay so um our mental health it's you know uh, it's it's how we're feeling inside no how we are emotionally it's as simple as that um it's it comprise it's comprised of our emotional health our our social well-being our psych psychological well-being um and it is as important as our physical health no um usually it's set aside um in favor of physical health but in fact uh they are uh, equally important and according to the world health organization mental health is actually a basic human right no um so it might be easier to think of mental health like we think of the weather so sometimes you know when the weather is good uh the days they're bright they're sunny right and we feel happy and we want to do things that make us happy like you know, when it's sunny, we go out, we work in the garden, we get exercise, maybe do some sports. 
Um, but there's also days when the weather gets dark, no? It's dark, it's rainy, it's dreary, and we don't feel like going out of the house. Or sometimes we don't even feel like getting out of bed, diba? So similar to the weather, um, we can also have periods where our mental health is full of energy, you know, bursting with energy. Um, but it can also be dark, no? And we feel that we don't have the energy or the motivation to do even the simplest, most ba basic things there. Um, but having good mental health um, makes life easier, no? So that's why it's very important because uh, when we have good mental health, we're more calm, we're able to comfort ourselves, we're able to establish and maintain good relationships with others. Um, but it's also important to understand that having good mental health doesn't mean that we feel good all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. We all have our, you know, our, our ups and downs. Uh, but uh, having, uh, you know, having uh, knowing how to manage our mental health uh, helps us in those periods when we don't feel so good all the time. Yeah. Yeah, such such a very good analogy, you no. Know? Sometimes when you say mental health, it seems so complicated, such a big concept, especially for sure. someone who doesn't have a background in psychology. But um using the analogy of weather, it's so easy to understand. Ah, yun lang pala yun. Um, you know, how how the weather changes and that's how mental health also um, changes based on several factors. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for that. I, I really like how, how simple it is, but really helps us understand that. So um, yeah, we want to bring it into context within our country. Would you say, Ms. Jing, in the Philippines, mental health is being given enough attention? And what would you say um, as a follow-up, are the common health, mental health challenges Filipinos often face? So I think that we are getting there in terms of, uh, you know, prioritizing mental health. Um, recently, the mental health law was passed um, and uh, that allows us to provide more support to a greater, uh, greater part of, of, the, or of the Philippine population. Um, the, the budget is also there. I mean, it's increasing. So I read that in the 2023 uh, budget, I think there's about $2 trillion allotted for the National Center for Mental Health, which is good. Um, and if you look at the trend, it's been increasing no, since, uh, since the early uh, 2018, 2019. So I think in that sense, we're able, we, our leaders recognize the importance of uh, mental health. But that said, um, there are still a lot of things that we need to do. For example, um, last year, uh, the ratio of, of uh, mental health professionals to Filipino citizens is only three for every um, 80,000 Hmm. So you know, can you imagine um, uh, the, the the challenges no, of seeking uh, or getting professional help, diba? It, Because because the number of of professionals who can provide support is is so small. Uh, at the same time, um, the cost of uh, mental health care is also quite high. Um, and in fact, while, um, so in a study by an insurance company, uh, they said that 63% of Filipinos uh, are, are aware that mental health is important uh, and that uh, getting support when there, is, uh, when there are problems is important as well. But only a third of them are actually able to, to, to get that help. Again, because the cost of uh, of mental health care here in the Philippines is uh, is so high, and then of course uh, I think the other challenge is that the the stigma on on mental health um, is is uh, has has not uh, fully gone away, um, and that's why it's so important for us to understand that mental health is not just all about mental disorders. <laughs> Right. Mm. Um, it's it's our emotional, as I said earlier, our, our emotional well-being, our social well-being. So I think we need to um, 
drive home that message, um, keep on repeating that message so that we can uh, remove the stigma mm -hmm. and uh, help the population to develop, you know, help seeking behaviors. Thank, thank you, Ms. Jean. Now you mentioned about, you know, the stigma. Uh, you mentioned about, I mean, we, we are getting somewhere, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, but as students, as professionals, how can we contribute to raising awareness about mental health in our society? Um, so I, at its very basic, I think we need to be kind and we need to be compassionate. Um, it's, it's going to be very difficult to get people to seek help and to open up about their experiences if we, um, if we don't display empathy, if we don't display understanding. So I think that at, at, it's very basic. It doesn't matter if you're a professional or a student. It's, it's, uh, it's for all of us, I think, no? uh, and applicable across all ages, right? Um, uh, but as students, uh, I think it's also important, you know, we signed up for this, right? Uh, we, we embarked on this journey because we wanted to help. So it's important for us to stay the course, diba? Mm -hmm. For us to continue working towards getting that degree and eventually uh, being licensed uh, professionals. Because as I mentioned earlier, the numbers are so low. That's not going to mm -hmm. increase if we're not going to stay the course. So I think sure. we need to do that. Um, and then... Uh, and then while we're doing that, we just need to lift each other up, I think, uh, continue um, uh, educating ourselves and educating others uh, so that, uh, again, you know, we remove the stigma. We remove it's, you know, I mean, you won't hesitate to go to a medical doctor if you're feeling uh, if, if something is hurting physically. So that is the level of openness that we need to achieve if we are to um, help solve the mental health crisis here in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jing, for just reminding us. It's so simple, but somewhat kind of difficult to, to do <laughs> in practicality. Um, and you said we signed up for this. And, you know, somehow when you're in this helping profession, you tend to, like, think about the mental health of others. But as students, and even for the professionals also um, within the mental health field, how do we actually achieve and maintain good mental health? So I, I think the question is really just for everybody. How do we achieve and maintain good mental health? Um, you know, um, over the course of my readings, especially during the pandemic, self-care has been, uh, I think, used and overused and perhaps misused misused as well. Um, but in, in the course of my readings, I saw this, uh, uh, this particular article where they said that uh, self-care, um, they are likening it to when you're in the plane, and the stewardess or the flight attendant uh, tells you to put your mask on before you put on the mask of others. I've never subscribed to that. I don't believe that because simply because if you have to put the mask on others before you put on your uh, the mask for yourself, then that means you are already in emergency mode. <laughs> You're already in crisis mode. Right. So I don't subscribe to that. So self-care needs to be something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't have to be very, um, uh, you know, planned. It can be five minutes of your day uh, doing mindfulness exercises. Uh, it can be, you know, a walk in the park. It can be a quiet coffee before before the noise of the world uh, comes upon us. So I think that's important. Um, and then at the same time, it's important to also uh, be able to talk to others. No, So just because we are uh, psychologists or studying to be psychologists. It doesn't mean we don't need help. We also do. So um, let's also seek help, diba? 
um, I think that is how we build our network, we build our connections, but at the same time, it's also how we keep sane, right? Um, and and help us to to again to block out you know the noise uh, and 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 you know listen listen i guess to the there are inner musings our inner thoughts and ideas and uh so that we're able to be calmer and um uh, again focused in terms of what we want to achieve as as uh, helpers of people Hey, yeah, you. and I heard massage is good. Yeah, Self care. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Miss Jing, for that. I think you put everything into a, into a very simple perspective. The not only you know um, the non psychologist students that can basically understand what mental health is all about. Uh, you know how conversation should be opened up you know in different areas whether in school at home or in the workplace how important mental health is all about and you know we really appreciate you being here today but you know be before we end our discussion do you have any final word for us and for our viewers um so i guess let's not think of mental health because it's i mean we're doing this because it's world mental health month um but uh it it doesn't stop here we all have a mission um and and again we just need to stay that course um and you know ultimately i think the best thing that we can do um is to really practice kindness because you know we don't know what the others uh, are going through uh, so practice kindness, uh, practice compassion, suspend judgment, very important, you know, listen with, um, listen with an open heart. Uh, that is how, you know, that is how conversations start, but that is also how conversations can keep on going. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ms. Jing, for sharing that. That's very, very beautiful. Uh, thank you so much again for being here today. We want to let you know that we honor you and we appreciate the time that you spend with us today. Oh, yeah, and thank Ms. you for Jane. having me and for the yeah. opportunity. Of course. Yeah. yeah. On behalf of the Psych Society, Ms. Jing, the students from MAP, and even for the BSP students, we really thank you um, for gracing us with your presence, for saying yes to our invitation. And we wish everyone to have an amazing day. Maraming maraming salamat. And you too, Miss Jing. Yes, Thank and you. to everyone out there, always keep in mind that you are worthy of happiness and peace of mind. Your struggles do not define you and taking care of your mental health is an act of self-love. And most importantly, practice kindness and compassion towards others. Just imagine if the world, you know, was full of kind and compassionate people, it would be such a beautiful place to live in. So again, thank you everyone for listening in. Goodbye and have a blessed day.